Hi and welcome to this video tutorial covering tutorial one on the markplex.com site. I tend to have a couple of things open on my screen all the time, particularly when programming. One is the shortcut bar, which as you can see is already open. That's the bar here to the left. And the other one is the output bar. And uh, as we go through, I use the print log, which uh, if you look down at the bottom of the screen, the tab here is it's um, what I use a lot is the print statement in easy language and that is great for debug. Anyway, uh, today we're going to be going through, as I say, tutorial one, which is the creation of a very simple show me study. So without further ado, the first thing we do is we click file, new and window. And then we'll get a bunch of options, including a tab for easy language. We're going to click on easy language and we're going to select the show me and say OK. We need to give it a name. Now one of the things I suggest uh, is to put a underscore before the name because that means that when we bring up this tutorial and apply it to a chart we're going to see it before all the standard trade station ones. So uh, put an underscore tutorial, we'll just call it something like video one and then underneath here you'll see make available to the following windows. We're just going to apply this to charts so we're going to unselect, deselect the radar screen one I'm going to say OK. Now the first thing you'll notice, and I'm just going to maximize this, is that TradeStation adds a whole bunch of useful comments to help you develop the show me, the indicator, etc, etc. And um, just worth noting that uh, adding comments to a program is an extremely important thing to do. Even for the most simple programs, you'll find that if you look at them again after a year or so, what you did really makes no sense. So adding as many descriptive comments I would seriously uh, recommend and uh, that's good programming practice. The way to do that is to surround them by these curly braces which they call French curly braces and uh, you can surround multiple lines by that. If I were to delete the first curly brace you'll see that the uh, trade station tries to understand this as a program which it is not so we're not going to do that. So another way of doing it is to add two forward slashes. Now the thing with two forward slashes is it only comments the line. So in order to comment a whole paragraph we would need to add the two forward slashes per line. Anyway, <clears throat> these particular comments are not really going to help us too much in this program so I'm just going to delete them. They have no effect on the running of the program really there to help you understand what you've done. And this particular show me study is going to be a real simple study and what we're going to basically do is create a criteria condition and that condition is going to be true. I'm just going to delete the criteria there. That's just basically saying this is where you put your program. If the um, high of today's bar is less than the high of the previous bar and greater and the low of this bar is greater than the low of the previous bar. So we can write that as follows. We go high. Now in the tutorial I've used H but you can use high. Probably makes more sense English wise. The less than sign is the less than sign which I'm not sure there's another way of saying it. And we're going to say the high of this bar is less than the high of the bar one ago. Now we can do this in a number of ways. The way I prefer is to put square brackets one square bracket which means um, the high of, th of the last bar. You could also say the high of the last bar which is also fine and probably makes more sense English wise but I just prefer and certainly in terms of compactness of the programming um, the high of the bar with the one in square brackets. You could also say the high of the bar two bars ago or the high of the bar three bars ago but we're going to say the high of the bar one bar ago. But condition one is not just determined on that it's also determined on and this is what we're going to add and the low of this bar or the low which either, whichever you prefer is greater than the low of one bar ago and I'm going to use my um, syntax which I prefer. So what we're saying here is the condition one. The high of this bar is less than the high of the bar before it and the low of this bar is greater than the low of the bar before it and we'll see how that applies when we go to the chart. Now with show me's we need to decide where we're going to plot and basically show me's add a dot, add a thing on the chart so you can see that the condition 
has taken place. We're going to do that. We're going to plot it at the uh, the place, the average of the high and the low. So to do that, we're just going to create a, a value one, and in Trace Station, you can it will automatically allow you to create variables with the names value one, value two, value three, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, if you want to create one with a specific name, then you have to use the variable. You have to define the variables. We're not going to do that in this tutorial. We're just going to use value one, and we're going to set value one is equal to high plus low divided by two. And just to make sure that the syntax is correct, I'm just going to put those in brackets and divide by two. And uh, finally, we need to do the plot statement. So we're going to say if condition one. That means if the high of this bar is less than the high of the previous bar and the low of this bar is greater than the low of the previous bar, then we want to plot the show me study. And uh, there's several plot statements. Plot one, you can do one, two, three, etc. up to 99. Um, we're going to do a real simple case and we're going to plot value one. We're going we're gonna to put a little dot there, the average of the high and the low. And you'll see how that works in just a, a couple of seconds. Okay, so that's uh, plot value one. And need to finish each line with a semicolon. Now one thing that you might uh, realize is that, or you might, there might be some syntax or something you don't understand. I use this a lot. It's really useful. Any uh, thing like plot or high or low or etc. If you click the right mouse button over that symbol or over that uh, piece of uh, programming syntax, you will get the trade station help. So let's just do that click definition of plot one and we'll get the help screen so you can on the fly you can just look and find out all the different syntax and we're using a very very simple syntax version of plot as you'll see here under correct uh, you can plot a variable value you can name that value and you can set colors and uh, sizes and so on but we're not going to do that here I'm just going to close that so having created a show me, the next thing we need to do is verify it. I always do that just at the top of the screen here. You'll see the green tick. We click that. Hopefully there won't be a problem and the verification will be successful. Okay, so having created the show me, the next thing we want to do is apply it to a chart. So because we created this bar uh, on the side here, to open a chart, we can just click the sh chart analysis and that will open a chart and it's opened it uh, with Cisco, uh, CSCO. And what we're going to do is just apply our show me to this chart. And uh, we do that by going insert, show me, and then we look for the name of the show me that we just created. Now, because we put the underscore under it, you'll notice that it is on top of all the standard trade station show me's. So that's going to save us some time in finding it. We're just going to select that and press OK. And what we'll see is immediately the uh, we're getting some red dots at certain uh, bars. So in order to, uh, to check that they fulfill our conditions, what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in. We see at the top of the screen here there's a, a plus and we'll just pick a particular bar at random. So why don't we just choose this one over here. We uh, click and drag and we'll see the particular bar. So is the high of this lower than the high of the previous bar? Yes it is. And is the low of this bar greater than the low of the previous bar? And yes it is. So indeed we have drawn, we've plotted this dot here um, at value 1 which we've defined as the average of the high and the low. And to get back to see the rest of the chart we can just simply press the uh, zoom out button and then we'll see the whole chart. So that is a very quick introduction to uh, how to create a very, very simple show me. We'll be looking into uh, show me uh, studies a little bit more as we go through. Please feel free to go to markplex.com, that's M-A-R-K-P-L-E-X.com and uh, sign up for our email listing and therefore uh, if you do that, we'll be able to send you updates to tutorials as we create them and other trade station information. Thank you very much.